Hey, welcome to another episode of This Garage Will Never Be Completed. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. The garage would, well, I guess we could complete the garage, but if we complete the garage, here's what's going to happen. The wife's going to find stuff for me to do inside the house, and that's not what the goal of the whole thing is. So, we're just going to drag this out, I figure, probably a couple more months, and then it'll be springtime. By then, there'll be other stuff going on. We'll be able to paint in the garage, and then you won't have to do anything inside the house. Sounds like a plan to me. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to have to actually hurry up and finish this up. Um, the credit card statement's going to be coming in the mail, and the wife's going to be pissed. No, 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 no. No, actually, we're going to have to get it done because... Spring's coming. Going to want to get some paint laid down on the cars. And so I figured I'd give you guys a progress update of where we are before I moved on to the next step and started to hide everything that's been going on up top. So let's go back. It's actually been a while since our last video. Through, so I had to go back and watch the video just to see what I had done and where I left off so that I could pick right up and show you where we are now. Um, let's go back to the handy dandy whiteboard. So here we are back at the whiteboard, and I wanted to go over a few things, and I said, hey, we're going to make some changes to this uh, paint booth design to make it more efficient. And so we, we were going to 45 the back wall to make the air flow better, going to add this in, going to put the louvers, going to make the air come down from the top, suck down, be, be a downdraft system, you know, all this negative pressure, and it was a great idea. It really was, and it works pretty good. I'm going to show you that in a minute, but I'm going to tell you what really all this is. This is a lot of work. Jiminy Christmas, this is a lot of work. I spent months doing all the stuff you're about to see. Uh, wow, you know, there's probably a lot more efficient ways to do it than what you're about to see of what I've shown you on this update, but I'm happy with it. It's turned out good. Uh, you know, I turned it on one time and it's dang near sucked the fan out the window. So, uh, I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, we'll get rid of all this. I'm going to put out there. We'll, we're going to start putting progress updates and things of what it's going to take to get this complete. And then the video is going to jump around a lot. There will be a, uh, here at the end, I'm going to share a project with you that my dad and I are going to get started on. Uh, maybe it's going to be at the end. Maybe it's not. We'll see where it falls when I figure out how to edit. That's another thing that's kind of held things up. Well, not really held things up. Just another thing to learn as you go along because, geez, everything is a learning process in, in the whole YouTube thing. So uh, you'll see that the editing should be getting a little bit better. You'll see more creative stuff, works pictures in. I'm figuring out how these guys do, do things, and that's the challenge in itself. So I'm going to clear this off. We'll go around the garage and go over a few updates, such as the back wall, the fan, and everything else. Uh, the videos. The videos are going to be kind of out of order. Uh, as far as when I shot them, you'd be like, wow, he sure does change clothes a lot. That's because I've been shooting videos as I went along, just clips here and there, but never really put them into this video because I figured at one point I'd just do one big update instead of going through everything. So with that being said, let's go check some stuff out. So starting with my updates up here in the overhead, where this is where I put the chicken wire, keep them chickens out from coming in of the downdraft portion of the system. Uh, the air is going to come from the in front the soffit we're going to remove that and put the perforated up front that hadn't come yet but that is we got the gable in vents hiding in the bowels of the attic deep up in there that's set up to let air in you can see my back walls here so that separates the intake air from in and in and soffit this is where the filters will go all through here to allow the downdraft of the system uh we come around to the back wall on the back wall we came in the 45s have all been added and eh, not no, totally necessary but i put some bracing in here to prevent any bowing of the rafters up there what else did we do oh the back wall you notice there's plastic we covered the back wall with the anti-static plastic uh to aid in the airflow added 45s all along here kind of bring the air up and in 
should disappear up in here. Let's climb through here like we're the air. Be the ball. No, 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 no. Here we are up here coming up and then you can see the fan. With the fan we've added, try to get the glare out of that. Ah, much better. We've added deflecting HVAC walls somewhere. Aha, there we go. You're just looking at rafters, aren't you? Tell you what, don't nobody want to look at no rafters. Let's go down here. I can show you much better. Here they are. And the reason I want to show you now is because before everything gets covered up, you can see how the wall comes down to the bottom of the rafter so that when the drywall is up, it's going to perfectly seal. We'll still come back and add the foil tape. Let me see, does that show up anywhere? We got some foil tape somewhere. It's like $200 worth of stuff up there. It's bound to find something. There we go. Uh, let's turn the fan on. Let's see how the fan works. Oh, there we go, Captain. Let's go see the air. How much are we pulling? Are we pulling any air? I know we're pulling air. You may be able to hear it on... i tell you what, let's, let's try a paper towel test. Oh, this window's open. That's a lot of air. Alright, here we are coming up on the ventilation up in the attic. Figure I'd show it to you before we sealed it off for the final time. Just one wall, big wall down here at the end that we have an access door that I haven't secured yet. I'll slide this over. And then here is the giant HVAC duct we've built to turn the attic into the exhaust portion of everything. I ah, see it works nice. Get in here. I can do some maintenance if necessary. Inspection, see how everything's holding up, but everything's pretty well sealed up now. You can see, comes around angle, got a nice little ramp, and back to the louvers. Coming around, you can see the fan, the belt there comes over. We got the box here to totally enclose the motor away from the exhaust. Nice, nice clean job. I'm happy. Being in the belly of the beast here, she is done. And we should be able to run the exhaust. All right, let's go down to the bottom side and show you how this is operating and see if that master flow exhaust louvers work all right guys let's go check that part out and the vents look like they want to work here but you know what see that's a whole bunch of air so once we get our filters in place the pressure drop will certainly slow that air down Boy, look at that thing go what do you think what do you think daisy what do you think cooper he's had some good air Oh, Hems likes the air. You like, is that good air, Daisy? Do I get the paw of approval? Hi, paw. Hi, paw, girl. Hi, paw. You can do it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe not. <laughs> nope. Oh, there we go. We got the bark of approval. All right. So, hey, this is definitely a success. You can see how well that, well, you, you know, it's amazing. You can't see none of the air working, but I feel it working like a champ uh, on the outside oh you may have noticed as I was walking around you the windows I put in my brother come over gave me a hand thank you so much to my brother Scott for coming in we got these new windows in these guys are all sealed up she is pretty I'll uh, cut in a picture so you can see them uh, we had a bunch done with that new lentils added above we had the uh, mortar all cut out had to put new lentils in had to point up all the mortar all the way up and seal everything up on the outside that was complete this is complete <laughs> lighting 
wiring. Oh my gosh, how much would it, oh. We got all the 10 gauge wiring in. We're gonna move the heater down low. Probably gonna put that on, create a stand for it so that we can put the heat here and let it rise. Got all our bracing in here. We've added, uh, oh, also with the fan, let's cut the fan off, but in the fan, inspection access will go right here. Right there is the copper pipe that we trip over and get a, ourselves back in the hospital. Getting the elbow fixed. No, we're not doing that. So, things are moving right along. Moving right along. Got a few things to do. We need to erase this board. What do you think? Got to erase the board on with Daisy Dog. Yes, sir, Mr. Cooper. Okay, guys. Ah, here we go. By the magic of editing, we have a whole new whiteboard of Project X. Uh, oh, we didn't give it a name. Let, let's call it our, uh, for now, we'll just call it uh, Plans. Well, this is our planning board. The Project X plan. Well, plan for now is, so with the paint booth over here, this guy, what we're going to do, get the insulation up there in the overhead. Start getting that taken care of. Then we got the drywall. Coming up next, the lights will modify the soffit, get the air in here. Then looking to sand and paint the floor. There's a lot of cracks and crevices, all kinds of dust and nastiness can get down in here. We've got to get rid of that. Going to fix that. That's on the to-do list. Oh, it's on the Project X plan list. How about that? We'll get the compressor installed, then get the air pipe and run. Uh, got plans laid out how I'm going to run that. Uh, we'll get to the whiteboard, lay that out for you later. Then in other news, hey, I started to do more things than just, just the garage. Believe it or not, you know what? I got a lot of other things I'm interested in and not just this. This just happens to be what I have to do to do the other things. So really this has become more of a documentary for myself uh, to kind of look back, see the progress of things. It's funny when I look back at the last video, I could see how much I had really done. Sometimes it feels like I've made no progress at all out here because, hey, I told you, it's an army of one. You do what you can when you can and every chance you can. And boy, it just moves slow. I can tell you right now from first-hand experience, standing up a 26-foot long wall by yourself can be a challenge. And then getting up there and roofing it and all the other things. So, hey, it is what it is. I'm not complaining. We got it done. Just takes a little more time than I ever expected. That's why I had to come in here. I was like, a lot of work is what all that turned out to be. Not quite uh, the wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, get it done in a month and uh, crank some cars out. I tell you, if you want to set things right, it takes money and time. A lot of time. A lot of help. A lot of help. You need help. Doing it by yourself is probably not the best way to do it. Probably laying it out the way I've done is not the best way to do it, but it's always cool to lay it out for you so other people can see what I've done and maybe they've got a way they want to uh, modify their plan. So, hey, moving right along on the videos, uh, the 1920 Chevrolet truck. That is the truck my dad picked up here recently that I'm going to go over there and start working on him with. Uh, I love the truck. Absolutely love the truck. It is such a cool truck. Um, I'll cut the video of it in here. Yeah, I like seeing the 29 here come back. It's a neat old truck. Man, you're gonna, we'll have to get it ready for the 4th of July parade again. I don't know whether it's going to be ready for the 4th of July parade or not. Probably so. Maybe. I think I'm just going to put some uh, adhesive sealant on there and the sealant the wood and just around the bottom of it. I think I'm going to have a curvature coming in at the bottom back here and up front. I might put two sheet screws because it's got screws in the front. If you look at the fender, it's got a finish support and all they did is put these screws in it because it's on the other side too. Oh, I see the arch support. Yeah. 
But everything is, is uh, riveted. Because I was looking at the, everything that uh, was put together and they used rivets. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Where does the wood start? Let's see, this is steel. The, the, well, the, the steel over wood. The wood starts, it's everywhere. Because this is steel, but this is wood. And then, this is wood too. That's wood. That's wood. Hmm. Makes body work easy, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Dad. Yeah. I'm glad to see it come back home. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it wasn't planned on remaking that recording, so, you know, kind of a little choppy. It happens for the moment when we did it, so... But I'm glad we did it. It's glad that he picked that up, and it's something that I've really wanted for a long time. He used to own the truck, and he bought it back, and I'm glad it's back in the family. So I'm going to try to get over there in between all the work from the overtime work and things like that that I've been putting in and doing other things. Uh, holidays, stuff like that kicks in and always takes your time, family stuff. Uh, we're going to continue on with doing things like that with my dad. I really look forward to that and recording that as we go along. Then also we're going to do some model train stuff. We're going to expand the channel a little bit, uh, go down with my father-in-law and check out his trains. And I've done one video, we're going to be putting up another one here shortly. And if I haven't already, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Sometimes things get out of whack, you know. Uh, I learned by watching or listening to the Chief and Sean show you know, Tuesday happens every Tuesday whenever I get around to Tuesday because Tuesdays are great, but I don't ever seem to have the best of schedules. I try to get these things out. I try. Maybe it doesn't happen as fast as I want. Definitely doesn't happen as fast as you want. But we're going to get there, and things are going to happen. A lot more content going to move on, but we're going to do the train thing. Maybe as we go along, we'll be able to film some of the stuff as he builds the little small things that he builds as he pulls some things apart repurpose it into a whole new thing that is like always very cool and usually it's automated so anyhow thanks for joining me uh i'm gonna get back with you as we knock some of this out and you can see the progress and it's gonna be as i always say it's gonna start happening fast right because spring's coming pollen's coming got to beat the pollen so anyhow, thanks guys. Appreciate your time. Thanks for joining along and please do me a favor, like, subscribe, tell me what you had for breakfast. You know my rule. Please just tell me anything, a comment, or just a like, pick one, pick a comment, pick a like, pick a subscribe, pick anything. Appreciate you coming out and thanks guys. Talk to you real soon.